Now with measurement, it's always possible to add together two measurements that are currently in different um, measures. So for instance, at the top, we could see 4 meters plus 38 centimeters. And we want to know how many centimeters that is total. Well, the problem here is that not both of these are in centimeters. 38 is, but 4 meters stays in meters. So this means that we have to take this and convert it to centimeters. So we need to find out 4 meters is equal to how many centimeters. Let's think. Step one, find out whether you're going to multiply or divide. Well, I have a larger unit going to a smaller unit, which means I multiply. Step two, what do you multiply by? Well, in one meter, there are 100 centimeters. So I'm going to multiply by 100. Step three, solve the problem. Four times 100 equals 400 centimeters. So, 4 meters is actually equal to 400 centimeters. And I'm going to erase this so I could write this under here. 400 centimeters. And now we see that they're both in the answer format that we're looking for. So 400 centimeters plus 38 centimeters is equal to 438 centimeters for the correct answer. Now the same thing down here with cups and pints. We can see it wants the answer in pints, but over here I have cups. So I need to convert. First, when we're going from cups to pints, so that's from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we are going to divide. What do we divide by? Well, there are two cups in one pint. So now we solve our problem. 8 divided by 2. See how we started with 8? That's what comes over here. Divide it by 2 is equal to 4. So 8 cups is equal to 4 pints. And when I erase to get this out of the way so it's easier to solve the problem, we could see that 4 pints plus 4 more pints is equal to a total of 8 pints for the correct answer. That's how you go about solving addition or subtraction problems that are in different measurement units. You need to convert first and then add or subtract.